Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon, ma'am. How are you, exam? Ma'am, it's not good. We just wait for five minutes to see if students will join. <clears throat> so today I will finish the rest part, the see other functional group detection. And after that, I will give you the assignment for submission of the, this practical note in classroom. Okay, I'll start. It is visible. Hello. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so today. I will tell actually how to detect uh, nitrogen containing organic functional group. First, the aromatic primary amine, then amide, and aromatic nitro. Okay, whatever the sequence. So, <clears throat> first, suppose for amide, amide PONH2. This is the condensation product from two parent molecules, one is acid and another one is some NH3 or if NHR then amine, primary amine or secondary amine. So here is uh, for amide detection, for amide here where I lie down CONH2, so this is the combined form of CO acid group by water elimination from NH3. Okay, so obviously this NH3 you will have uh, you get some male and that is actually we will perform in uh, lab that we will get the male of ammonia. Okay, so how we do uh, release the ammonia? That is the chemical test for identification of amides. We will take here, practically, practically actually, we will be here, acetamide. Okay, we will take acetamide in alcoholic solution. Then, you put some bead of sodium hydroxide, not the solution, bead of sodium hydroxide. Okay, immediately, you just put direct. You don't need to make any solution. You put solid sodium hydroxide B. Okay. And heat it. Sometimes 
you don't whenever you add sodium hydroxide is exothermic reactions then it, it automatically warms but if you for your purpose we want to show you better evaporation of ammonia and that's why we put it in a in a stream a water bath hot water bath actually warm water and we you will see the surface of the bead you will get some uh, evaporation bubbles the gas is coming evolved gas and that is and subsequently now you are not able online this is not possible to a smell of ammonia but you assume that you will get some ammonia smell that confirms you have this amide group okay and this one it, it looks this way, this way actually okay slowly it will be evaporated and actually if anybody has ammonia in your sample one first done it this uh, ammonia test then all are getting this ammonia all home rooms are now smelling of ammonia spreading everywhere okay so is uh, then difficult for a particular person who are not able to get uh, this uh, smell it's when all are there it's all smelling from one system is spreading on the room <coughs> but you see the evolved okay just for a few minutes for plus tool ke ha bolo ek sor na tumi eta te chobi tule diye to amader ar tomar ami mail ta pathiye diye ei chhele ta ke include korte hobe psd e ha tumi eta chobi tule amake pare kagoj te diye प्राइमरिमिक so here i mentioned two important points aromatic and primary there is how many types of amine normally three primary secondary tertiary tertiary okay and there is aromatic and aliphatic but detection technique for aromatic and aliphatic is totally different what is the chemical identification test for aliphatic amine what is acetamide and uh, no it is carbilamine test okay it's poisonous so but here is a we are detecting here aromatic primary amine okay we are detecting here aromatic primary amine okay it should mention actually now in that is not only primary amine that is aromatic primary amine so one aromatic moiety should be there <coughs> actually this is a coupling reaction now we choose orthonitro anilin one compound then we take and this is actually color or nitro compounds are yellow color and orthonitro anilin gives an intense color and you you see in the uh, this bottle and the sample is alcoholic solution now this is sodium nitride you will take little sodium nitride and add uh, this is not little but you need very little sodium nitride not so much but whatever and then add add um, concentrate sulfuric acid directly to it then what will evolve actually what will evolve NaNO2 plus HCl nitrous nitrogen dioxide nitrous acid form first HNO2 okay after that what happened you cool down this one you cooled it okay because it's the gas is evolved so you cool cool that means not like cool you should maintain below 8 degree celsius temperature you need some ice for cool down the exothermic this exothermic evolution to stop this one 
then you will take alkaline beta natural okay oh sorry i just missed one so after that <coughs> you add actually sodium nitrate uh, hydrochloric acid we, on this you add the sample solution okay on this you add the sample solution and whatever you add the acyl to the uh, sample solution it's no problem you will get diazotized solution in between uh, it is diazotized first and then you cool down now in another test tube we will take alkaline beta natural so beta natural on a material and then it dissolve in sodium hydroxide solution or aqueous solution it dissolve because beta natural is a one oh but is not like so much clear solution is some slippery type of material but you have some solution after that addition of this diazotized solution into the alkaline beta natural solution and immediately you will get this uh, red color actually okay then red dye form there is a long reactions so we will see another day i will discuss about the question in another day today i have to just give you for your assignment the instructions so that it complete and next day i will discuss about the question for viva and all chemical reaction etc okay related now this is the red dye so after that the chemical test for identification of aromatic this is also for aromatic nitrogen not simple nitro test that is different this is for aromatic what will go with the ortho nitro phenyl okay it's also yellow color nitro group presence always having some yellow coloration that actually from your uv visible spectroscopy also predict if you go through this one absorption and their emission of the color and you will get the one uh, complementary color of the absorption uh, energy <coughs> then you add zinc da and immediately the after addition of ammonium chloride what will happen after that you heat it strongly strongly not uh, so much you don't need mane not in water mane boiling water bath but you need strong water mane heating actually strong heating not up to the 100 degree little uh, lower is also okay put it and you will get the uh, some change in okay after cooling you add tolens reagent to it there is a two uh, actually way you directly add this one but sometimes sometimes it is difficult to understand the um, addition of tolens reagent and the change because of the zinc dust is a black also so in that case the supernatant after the heating the supernatant you transfer into a fresh glass test tube and then you add tolens reagent and again you strongly heat it okay now you need strong heating to make uh, immediately we will get silver nitrate uh, silver mirror in the glass test tube okay and that is the actually identification of the nitro group but this is not actually for nitro group it will convert it fast nhoh okay hydroxyl 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 amine derivative okay and this will reduce the actually silver nitrate and silver is precipitate down okay so that is for testing for the aromatic and this test is known as also mulliken barker test is all known as actually mulliken barker test okay so up to this one i finished mane the organic functional group but the class is not class the discussion will start actually after that so your i complete this one i have one actually um, central participant committee meeting but i uh, that way keeping ahead so that we prepare your assignment 
nobody will late for the submission of uh, assignment for practical so i will send the whole course material and i um, also mention how to write uh here is uh, i think uh, no here is not uh, so this one is a whole but i have another one this one you write down your assignment in this format okay you have serial number 1 2 3 1 2 3 so this is uh, for up to carbonyl group carbonyl group have two experiment for aldehyde and ketone Ke aldehyde has two and then you have nitro 3 uh, nitrogen containing functional group 3 so total 6 to 7 actually then you write down the experiment in detail not in detail very Uh, to the point you can write down okay and what is the observation i mean mentioned actually is write down we don't need to copy the previous classes or etc you can write down whatever you see like suppose you have uh, diazotized some preparation of diazotized solution what is the observation you will get the red dye precipitate that is enough write down the observation what is the inference if red dye appear that means your sample has Uh, this uh, aromatic primary amine so very cleanly and to the point you will write the assignment you need maybe one one page maximum one page to uh, one and half page to write down everything okay and that you will submit and uh, today I, i will stop actually because of this meeting but next we will thoroughly thoroughly discuss about the questions from the first organic chemistry whatever i learned from then from it what type of question i will ask in the exams uh, during the, your viva uh, i will tell okay and uh, if uh, inorganic and physical uh, what about the inorganic and physical practical is over no ma'am no ma'am not started ma'am no. sorry actually the, uh, if you want first i complete the organic then after you completion of your inorganic and physical practical and then i will go for the questionnaire session okay because there will be three split uh, for the student for each uh, teacher for bhai bhai so who will be uh, who will be to my part they will be gainer what type of question will be coming from my side so i will discuss about the inorganic physical both after completion of their practical okay so next day i will discuss about the related question from and i will give the pdf format pdf i have one i pdf of the question here so that you can read also okay so okay for today so uh, now i will send the practical this course material to you write down thoroughly and i will uh, make a assignment for your practical assignment in the class 2 and you will submit there with, within due time okay so practical from uh, practical assignment will be complete after that okay because we have not so much time now maybe just one, one month and half so when is the exam next exam final according to academic calendar ma'am according to academic calendar our end semester exam is from 7 7th april to 13th april so so that you can think how much less okay but uh, it will be too much work but next uh, thursday maybe i will not able to take the class not next thursday uh, next thursday i will able after that means 10th 10th i think i will not able to take the class because of our convocation maybe in 11 so 10th and 11th i will be busy so after that 
but it's okay next uh, next uh, tomorrow i will take a uh, start first enema spectroscopy okay first we will finish the enema ftir already done i will again recapitulate ftir little bit after enema and give you the post material hmm. and then go for the polymer polymer is little bit mane um, informative not like you have to understand so many things is just uh, informative so maybe within uh, one class i can finish polymer but let's think first we will finish enamer we at least we need to complete class for enamer okay then we will go for ftir one recapitulate uh, class and then polymer whatever you have knowledge from polymer that is enough i think so that is very basic uh, part is here just recapitulations and little bit new things are there mathematics are there. okay so for today sorry i am not uh, complete the question here okay i'll stop here now thank you ma'am ma'am can you please share this uh, slides yes yes i will share i will share with share uh, shares and then share share to uh, I, I right now i can see you okay, okay ma'am okay. right now i just uh, share you so that you can uh, check the pdf copy uh, yes ma'am in the classroom ma'am okay yes, it will be very helpful in the classroom okay i will oh, okay ma'am thank you thank you ma'am okay thank you ma'am thank you ma'am